It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Lions, and it's all up next. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games, and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in, that final Sunday night going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more. and They've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Now the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here. And under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns and led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle, now she winds up getting eight there. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now a play fake, and it's gone. He'll get this header knee to Montgomery. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 35. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit. And it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. To throw is golf. Slam pass. He's got Reynolds. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Golf going underneath, 
Gibbs has it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. And gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. Here's Goff. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now Goff. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. the first half is winding down and the Lions have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second and finally points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 's time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Well now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023, the former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent, leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. Garoppolo on first down. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. This second and four. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. To the left sideline and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lock one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. This Coach. has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing. as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. All right, in Coach, the first thanks. Half, it was yeah, the veteran both teams likely Jared to make some changes in what's been the a offense. closely fought battle to his this touchdown point. touchdown pass is the only score of the game thus far as his guys hold a 7 nothing lead to this point. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now Garoppolo. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. On play action, now Garoppolo. He'll let this go for Adams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Garoppolo. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff and even better execution. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on a free kick. And that's a big mistake. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Automatic first down. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Montgomery on the counter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 
Goff now to throw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Gone. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. with a kneel down here and that should put a conclusion to this one. Brent, I can just tell you from experience there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points boy they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah exactly the offense wasn't humming but hey all they needed was well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.